hello there everyone and welcome back to the nursery and welcome back for another video. So today's video uh, I'm just going to do a little face to face with you guys and we're just going to have some fun with the babies. So this is going to be a collection video okay because I got quite a bit of new subscribers lately and I believe I am up to 88 subscribers now so thank you all so much for joining me and subscribing to my channel. So because of that I wanted to go ahead and give you guys an updated collection of my babies. So I'm going to be showing you all my Reborns plus all of, uh, I have two Ashton Drake babies and one Paradise Galleries baby. So I wanted to go ahead and show you everything and I'll show them to you in the order that I got them. We'll start with the Reborns and then we'll go to the Ashton Drake and Paradise Galleries baby. So I think I'm going to go ahead and set this video up as a preview. Uh, I have actually done a preview on my uh, on my other channel, on my Sharon Sanctuary channel, which is more of a crafting channel. Um, that's where I have my adult coloring books, my fountain pen related videos, journal videos, planner videos, some crochet stuff, uh, you know, all that kind of good stuff. And uh, so I'll link that in the description section plus my Sims gameplay channel if you're interested in seeing that. So, but for now, we're going to go ahead and just do a little face to face and we're going to show you the babies and we're going to kind of talk about who they are and how they came to be with me. And uh, yeah, I'm just kind of straightening myself up here. Don't mind me, but we're going to talk about how they came to be with me and their and their little personalities and stuff. So let's go ahead and get the first baby. So our first baby here, this is baby Stephanie. And this is the pumpkin sculpt by Donna Rubert. And so I named her, this is Stephanie Lynn. And she was, uh, as I said, the pumpkin sculpt by Donna Rubert. And she was reborn by Jenna's words and stuff. So, hi, Auntie Jenna! Mwah, love you! <laughs> so, this is the, the very first reborn that I ever got. Now, I did have an Ashton Drake baby before her, but this is technically my very, very first reborn. And, uh, yeah, so she came from... Um, I got her off of eBay, off of uh, Jenna's uh, sale page. And so, let me just show you her from the backside. She has lightly rooted kind of curly hair there um it's kind of a coarse feeling hair but it's it's uh it's 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 pretty sparse it's it's real lightly rooted but it's it's curly and it's it's really cute okay so she is about i would say about 19 pounds or 19 pounds holy cow <laughs> 19 inches and about five pounds okay and uh she's she's very dainty very very nice to hold and uh, yeah, so now she is wearing the sleeper that I put her in, in from the last video. It's been a while since I featured her in a video, um, but we'll have to do another changing with her because it has been a while and she's feeling just a little bit left out, you know, with all the other babies that I've added to the, the nursery here lately. But yeah, so we're gonna change her out of the sleeper pretty soon, but it's a very cool, um, yeah. <laughs> it's a very comfortable fleece sleeper with uh, with little hearts on it okay so Stephanie's personality as you can see she's a very very happy baby so she's always laughing and giggling all the time she's kind of our class clown of the of the nursery I guess you know she's always wanting to make all the other babies laugh and she's always trying to charm everybody you know and try to get uh, everybody else to laugh and yeah so she's kind of our she's kind of our smiley giggly baby okay so that's baby Stephanie Next, we've got baby Michael. This is baby Michael Andrew, and this is the Blaze sculpt by Donna Rubert, another Donna Rubert baby. You're going to notice that I've got several Donna Rubert babies in the, in the collection, but this is the Blaze sculpt by Donna Rubert, and he was reborn by Jenna's words and stuff. He's the second reborn baby that I ever got, and he's in the outfit that I changed him into when he was featured lastly in a video. Um, he's got these dark blue pants on him, and uh, this little onesie that says genius and I got this outfit uh, I wouldn't say that it was an outfit that came together it was kind of like mi uh, mix and match <laughs> but um, these were featured in uh, a couple of haul videos that I did on my channel and I did separate everything into playlists so if you want to see all the haul videos I did um, and all the box openings and stuff they're separated out into different playlists so um, this is um, as I said baby Michael Andrew and uh, he also came from Auntie Jenna. Uh, so he's a little bit of a bigger baby. He's probably about, I'd say, 20 inches long and I'd say about at least six pounds, guys. You know, he's, he's a bit bigger. And uh, let me just show you him from the backside. 
So his hair is also lightly rooted. It's it's a bit softer than Stephanie's and it's more straight, but he's he's definitely got the sparse look going on, okay? And uh, he's, I say he's about six pounds. He's kind of my, uh, I think he's gonna be the quarterback. He's kind of, um, he's a bigger baby. He's a little bit heavier, but he's not like real super heavy or anything. So he's kind of like, uh, he's, I, I wouldn't call him a lightweight or anything, but but I think he's going to be the, uh, I think he's going to have the build of a quarterback. So he's kind of, he's going to be sort of the, the athletic boy, I think. Um, he's got a bunch of uh, like baseball sleepers and a bunch of, uh, you know, just kind of stuff like that. So um, I think he's going to try his hand at, at doing the sports and all that. So yeah, um, he just, he kind of looks like a, he kind of looks like he'd be captain of the football team. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and get the next baby. All right, guys, this baby here, this is baby Nicholas Michael, and he is the Danny Sculpt by Janny DeLang, and he was painted by Born Again Reborns on YouTube or Butterfly Baby Kisses Nursery. Uh, she sells on uh, Facebook and that, um, and I think she had also sold on eBay before, but anyway, so um, he is the, the third one I got, and uh, so he is the... Uh, Obviously, he's a boy, and uh, he's a he's a sleeping baby. Now, this baby is a, is a pretty big boy. He is he he's about six pounds, and I'd say he's quite a bit longer than uh, than Michael. Um, I want to say he may be twenty or twenty one inches long, and uh, he's got kind of a wider body. Um, he was made from the German vinyl, and uh, his body I think came from McPherson's, I think. So, whereas the first two babies were Bountiful Baby. Um, this one, I believe, came from McPherson's. Now, um, an interesting thing about this little guy here is uh, if you get the, the Danny kit, you're not going to get the same limbs. Um, this is the original limbs that you're going to get with him. Now, this hand here, I hope you guys can see, but um, I think people were having a, uh, some difficulty with this hand because uh, the, the vinyl was... Um, was tearing, I guess, because it's kind of held together by just a real thin piece of vinyl between the the hand and the and the uh, and the finger here. So you want to be careful with this. Like if you have these original limbs, you want to be careful with this hand because um, it will tear very easily. So you know, be careful when you're dressing them and 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 so forth. So I always really really try to be careful with this guy here. So um, as I said, he is a sleeper, and uh, he wears. Uh, he can wear some newborn stuff, but he wears, I think, mostly zero to three months size. And so he's also got the same outfit that I put on him when I had him in a, a video. The top is a, is a red top, and I believe it's got a little car. And the top is Janie and Jack, and then he's got some uh, dark blue pants from Carter's. And then he's got, ah, hi, Alex. <laughs> So he's got, and then he's got his little white sockies on that, that I kept on him, okay? So let me show you the back of him. He's got, um, instead of rooted hair, he has painted hair. And uh, as you can see from the, the back side, she does an excellent job on, uh, on painted hair. Um, but he is, um, he's my very first baby that I got from Sharon. I have two babies from her, okay? And uh, Nicholas, is is a as I said just a really really substantial baby he feels really great to hold he's a sleeper so he's the type you just want to just kind of sit and cuddle and just you know um, and he's he's very peaceful you know he's, a, he's got a very peaceful expression on on his face and it's a little hard to have like a little bit of a personality with the sleeping baby but I kind of imagine him as just being um, you know, just very laid back, just, uh, you know, when he is awake, you know, just kind of happy and, and smiling and, and just very, very laid back, uh, you know, not much of a crier, you know, um, pretty just good natured. And so I think he's probably going to have the job as maybe like a, a mediator, like when, you know, if he were to grow up, I think he'd be more of like a mediator because he just, you know, he just seems very, very peaceful. Um, you know, just uh, very good nature, just, you know, kind of wants everybody to be happy and, and, uh, and, and at peace. So, yeah, this is baby Nicholas Michael. Again, he's the Danny Sculpt by Janny DeLang. And again, he was made from the German vinyl, which is, you know, quite a bit, which is really soft. But he does have an interesting texture on him because she puts uh, matte varnish on him. So uh, his texture feels like a little bit rough, but that's okay. I don't mind that at all. Um, he feels, as I said, he just, he feels just so good to hold. 
So that's baby Nicholas. Our next baby we have is baby Carrie Victoria. And she is the Natalie sculpt by Denise Pratt. And uh, she was reborn by Jenna's words and stuff. So, hi, Auntie Jenna. I love you. <laughs> Silly boy. Yeah, you get a sniff. Yeah, just don't drool on the baby, Mr. Alex. Yeah, Alex, he's uh, he's my younger golden retriever. Um, his full name is Alexander Graham Bell. And he likes to just, uh, he likes, to, when I have the babies out, he likes to come over and sniff. He loves, loves, loves kids. And I think part of him thinks that they're real. <laughs> and um, when I when I first had these babies and, and when I first brought him out, boy, he just sniffed and sniffed and sniffed. And now um, I think he's kind of gotten used to it because now he'll, he'll still come over to sniff, but he... Um, he kind of just gives a quick sniff and it's like, okay, you know, that's, that's cool, you know. And then, and then he just kind of goes on his merry little way. But anyway, this is, as I said, this is baby Carrie Victoria. And uh, she's the Natalie sculpt by Denise Pratt, reborn by Jenna's words and stuff. And so I got her kind of shortly after I got baby Nicholas. Um, by the time that I got baby Michael, um, Jenna and I became very very close and now we call each other sister friend because I swear like we think so much alike and um, So yeah, we kind of call each other sister friend and uh, so anyway ever since Ever since that time um, she started showing me her works in progress and uh, So she said that she kind of thought of me as she was doing this baby and so she would uh, she showed me the work in progress and she showed me the rooting and so let me show let me show you this girl from the, the back side here. And this girl has a beautiful head of rooted hair. It's, it's a very, very full head of rooted hair, and we want to keep her cloth from showing there. So it's a very, very full head of a beautifully soft rooted hair. It's blonde, okay? And uh, so she gave me first crack at her, and uh, she showed me the picture of her when she was done, And because uh, I, I kind of intimated, I said, I think I want her. Um, and so she showed her to me when she got her done, and I said, I said, don't even think about putting her on eBay. I said, I want her. So she sold her to me. And so she's wearing the same outfit that I put her in uh, last time that, that I showed her on a video. Now, the babies that I've shown so far, except her now, um, she has full arms and full legs, so she is fully limbed, okay? And then the previous babies that I showed are three-fourth limbs. I should, have, I should have said that, okay? And this girl needs a onesie on underneath because, as you can probably tell, um, even even with her full limbs, her cloth wants to show sometimes. So um, this girl needs this girl needs um, this girl needs a onesie. Okay, but um, this girl, as far as her personality goes, she's my princess of the bunch. She is very very dainty. She's um, you know uh, I don't know. She just she just seems very dainty. Um, very just um, little. <laughs> she's got little fingers and um, you know little little chicken legs. <laughs> So she's my princess, and so she likes to wear frilly, frilly, frilly dresses, and she loves, uh, she loves like roughly rompers, and and um, you know she's also, um, she's not a, a snobby princess or anything, and uh, you know she's also a very happy baby, but uh, you know she likes to be girly, girly, you know, so she's definitely my princess. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the next baby. Now this girl, as you can see, this is a big girl. And this is one of the newest babies I got in my collection. This is the Lucy Sculpt by Tina Cuey. And she was reborn by Born Again Reborns on YouTube or um, Butterfly Baby Kisses. And both Jenna and Sharon have YouTube channels. So I will go ahead and link them in the description section. So if you're not familiar with them, you can go check them out. But um, so anyway, um, as I said, this is the Lucy Sculpt. And uh, her name now is Melissa Lucille. When Sharon had her... Um, she called her Lucy, so she kept her sculpt name, and then I decided to name her Melissa Lucille. That way, a form of Lucy could still be in her name, okay? So, uh, she just came to me, gosh, probably a couple weeks ago, I want to say. Um, I've not had her for very long. I'm actually recording this. Uh, this is Thursday, April 2nd. So, yeah, um, I've not had her for very long, and I also, I dressed her up in, in this week's theme Thursday, so the theme Thursday for this week was pandas, or um, the alternative theme was red, white, and black, or a com combination of the three colors. So she's got this black outfit. It's Amy Co., and it's got the little white heart in the in the middle of it right there. Okay, so um, that's what I dressed her in for theme Thursday, and um, so she's been in that. 
So this little girl, she's a sleeper, as you can see, and she is definitely a bigger baby. She's probably about, um, she'd be a, I guess about a three to six month size. Now she can wear, um, she usually can wear zero to three months, but she can also wear three to six month stuff. In fact, this outfit that she's got on is an Amy Co, and it's a six month size. So it just depends on the brand and so forth. But anyway, she's a sleeper. She's a big girl, okay? So let me go ahead and I'll show you her from the back side. Try not to wake her up. But she has beautiful painted hair, as you can see. So um, Sharon does an excellent job at her painted hair, okay? So um, both of my babies that I got from her have the painted hair. And so this little girl, now again, she's a sleeper, so it's it's kind of hard to, sometimes it can be kind of hard to, you know, to, um, to put a personality with the sleeper. But um, this little girl, I think, is going to be my writer. Um, she's going to be my artistic one. So she's going to enjoy um, writing stories like Mommy, and she's going to enjoy, um, uh, she's going to be a, a good painter as well. Um, and she's going to enjoy just a lot of artistic, uh, creative outlets and stuff. So she's going she's gonna to kind of experiment with a lot of different mediums. She's going to learn to, I think she and, and Carrie are going to maybe crochet together. You know, they're going to both enjoy that together. Um, so, yeah, she's going to be my, my little artistic one, okay? And she's going to, you know, take voice lessons when she grows up and she's going to learn the piano. So she's going to be very, she's going to be very artistic and musical. So, yep, yeah, that is, that is a uh, little Melissa Lucille. And now she is very, very spoiled with, uh, with a, with a, um, uh, with a, just a phenomenal wardrobe. And so she's also going to have a, you know, very good fashion sense, like, um, you know, um, because if she's going to go performing and all that, you know, she's, uh, she's going to need a wardrobe to, you know, to boot. <laughs> so, um, but with her box opening and, and again, go on my channel, you'll be able to see her box opening, but, um, she came with just a fully stocked wardrobe. Plus I have another box opening of some things that, um, that I purchased from Sharon that, uh, that arrived yesterday. And so I did that box opening. So you'll be able to see that on my channel. So she is set. This girl is set. Plus I think Willow is set too, because a lot of the stuff that will fit her will also fit Willow. So yeah. Um, so this girl, this girl is spoiled rotten, let me tell you. <laughs> so this is baby Melissa Lucille. All right, let's go ahead and get our next baby. This baby, <laughs> hi Alex, you silly boy. This baby is baby Cheyenne Amelia. She is the Cheyenne sculpt by, I think her name is pronounced Elena Peterson. Um, and so I, I kept her name Cheyenne, but what I did was I put the E on the end because I think the sculpt name is S-H-Y-A-N-N, -N. but um, I like the name with the with the E added on to the end, so um, I just, you know, now I spell her name S-H-Y-A-N-N-E, okay? And so she is one of the newest ones that I have in my collection. Uh, she was reborn by Jenna's words and stuff, so hi, Auntie Jenna! <laughs> I love you! <laughs> so, um... She is actually my first ethnic baby, okay? So yeah, my first ethnic reborn. Um, so anyway, the story with her was, uh, now she came in a double box opening. Um, so I got her and another baby at the same time. Okay, so if you go on my channel and you watch their box opening, um, I told a very, very special story about how they came to be, okay? And what happened with them. And then I also told you the real story as well, but anyway, so also the the thing of it is with her too was um she was actually put up on ebay on uh, on jenna's page and uh so i kind of i was like you know i uh, and, and we were talking and uh so i decided to you know when i decided to take both her and uh and willow uh she was bald and as you guys probably know i like hair on my babies so i asked auntie jenna if she could give her a bit of rooting so she did now she wasn't sure if she was going to have enough hair to, you know, to do her, but she actually did. And so, as you can see, let me show her from the, the backside as well. But um, she has a beautiful head of curly rooted hair. It's it's dark hair, kind of dark brown. So yeah, she has a um, a very nice head of of uh, rooted curly hair, and uh, yeah. So this is baby Cheyenne Amelia, and I, I kind of feel like. I feel like her head I want to adjust her head just a little bit there we go 
So I kind of felt like her head was kind of turned a little wonky like. But anyway, so uh, this is baby Cheyenne Amelia. She is the Cheyenne sculpt by um, Elena Peterson. So she is wearing, this is the outfit that I put her, put her in for her first changing. And I, th yeah, I have a white onesie on underneath it. So um, she has, it's a pair of purple pants with, uh, with this onesie. it has got like a bunch of little flowers and stuff on it. It's long sleeved. But Cheyenne is newborn sized. And so she will wear some newborn stuff, but uh, some zero to three month. Now her, her thing is that she is probably going to be, um, She's probably going to be a beauty contestant. She's kind of, um, what we kind of came up with for her is that she's kind of a needy baby. You know, she's not cranky or anything, but she is kind of needy. She needs like some extra reassurances because, you know, she and uh, she and Willow kind of had a little bit of a rough start in life. Again, just go on my channel. You'll be able to, to, um, to listen to their story. So um, she's kind of a, a little bit of a needy baby. You know, she likes to be held a little bit more than some of the other babies. And, you know, she she uh, she needs that reassurance and she, you know, she likes her affection. And, uh, you know, she likes to be told what a pretty girl she is. And, and uh, you know, she needs to be told um, a little bit more often that, you know, that we love her. So, um, but she's going to grow up to be um, a beauty contestant, I think, because she is, she's very, very pretty. I think she looks really exotic looking. So, um, she, uh, you know, she's, she, uh, by the time she grows up, you know, her self-confidence is going to improve and so forth. And she's going to grow up to be a, a beauty contestant. And she's also going to learn to be a singer. And that's going to be her, like in the talent showcase, um, she's going to, she's going to be very gifted at music. And, uh, I think, um, uh, she and, um, she and Melissa are going to share some artistic talents together and stuff. So, yeah. So that's baby Cheyenne Amelia. Now this little girl is Willow. Okay, so she came uh, she came in the double box opening with with Cheyenne, and um, so this is the original outfit she came in. I have not done her first changing yet, but she is the Willow flower sculpt by Donna Rubert, and she was actually meant to be a portrait baby. Okay, so she's about the same size as Melissa. Okay, so you know same size limbs. Same size body, you know, she's about, I'd say 22 inches long. So she's a bigger baby. So because she's a bigger baby, now she was reborn by Jenna's words and stuff. So because she's a bigger baby, Auntie Jenna kind of saw a toddler in her. So she made her to be, instead of like a, a, a young baby, she made her to be more like a, a toddler. Uh, kind of a small toddler, but you know, a toddler. So as you can see, she's got uh, a much thicker head of hair. And so this is, uh, this is a baby that has a, a wig on her, okay? So she's got a wig. Um, and let me just go ahead and show you her from the back side, okay? So she's got, um, her wig has a permanent ponytail in it, okay? And I, I feel like I need to adjust her hair just a little bit. So sorry, little girl. Let me just adjust your scrunchie there. So um, she's got this permanent ponytail. And then so we just kind of keep hair bows and, and scrunchies on her, okay? So, um she has a she has a wig on her and also her head uh it it kind of falls back a little bit but not much um she's more as i said more of a toddler so um jenna kind of weighted her head a little bit differently so that she could she could actually sit up straight you know kind of by herself um because she is meant to be an, an older baby so um she just i just you know she just likes to kind of sit on my lap like this and she'll uh you know she'll just kind of lean back and watch tv now Willow is the big sister of everybody, and uh, so she's uh, she kind of likes to oversee the, the the whole nursery with me. You know, she likes to kind of be the big sister to all the babies, and uh, she uh, she kind of keeps everybody in line. But you know, she does it with a heart of gold. You know, she's not cranky or strict or anything. But you know, she does like to you know she 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 kind of likes to help mommy out, and you know just to try to keep everybody in line and to and to do it what she can to help mommy. So. Yeah, so um, this is Willow. Uh, her name is Willow Grace. Uh, she is the Willow flower sculpt, but we, you know, we called her Willow Grace. And I will be doing her first changing video very soon because um, I think um, I think I have a nice dress that I can actually put her in. I think, and uh, so she needs a, a onesie underneath on her too. I like to have the babies and I like to have all the babies in white onesies. So we'll put a onesie on her when we do her first video. Um, you know where she gets to be fully featured in in her own little video so that is willow so those are all of the reborns now um i do have two ashton drake babies and i do have um a paradise galleries baby so let me go ahead and show you them 
We'll go ahead and set Willow down here on the couch. And then let's go ahead and, and uh, I'll show you the Paradise Galleries baby and the Ashton Drake babies. This baby is Baby May from Paradise Galleries. Uh, she is uh, Ping Lao, uh, sculpted by Ping Lao, and uh, she's a Paradise Galleries baby. Now, um, I haven't changed her out of her original outfit. She did have a hair bow on her, which I took off because it was kind of sliding off of her head. And the thing with her, now, um, so the only baby I have shown, actually the, the two babies, okay, so the ones that have full limbs is, um, Baby Carrie, she, uh, Baby Carrie was the Natalie sculpt, and then uh, Baby Melissa has full arms and three-fourth legs. I forgot to mention that. Everybody else has three-fourth limbs, okay, and so does this baby. She's got three-fourth limbs. Um, so the thing with her, now I do like her. She's, well, she's not a reborn. Um, you know, she is a, a factory-made doll from Paradise Galleries, but I mean, I do like her, but the thing of it is, is she's not I don't, I don't like how she's weighted. She's very light. Um, I think she needs a better body and some better weighting. Um, she has some painted hair. It's finely painted hair. Okay. It does look cute. And I, I do think she's a cute baby. I, you know, I, I really did want to get her, but I think I will be better bonded with her once. Um, I think I'm going to get some weighting materials and, um, and, and give her a, a, a new body and some different weighting materials and I think once I do that I think I'll feel better bonded with her I just I just don't like the way she feels like in my arms you know right now she's she is very cuddly don't get me wrong she's very cuddly but I just I think she's too light you know she's supposed to be a newborn sized baby but there's there's really nothing to her yeah so anyway that's baby May this next baby is one of my Ashton Drake babies and this is littlest sweetheart Okay, let me hold her up for you just a little bit. This is Littlest Sweetheart by Ping Lao, okay? And she's a preemie size baby. Um, again, she's very light. She's she's heavier than, than Baby May, but she is still very light. She's preemie size, and she is very, very adorable. I do like her. Um, but again, the thing of it is, 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 and you guys have heard me talk on the channel, I'm not a fan of armatures. Her arms are very, very stiff because of the armatures. Uh, the sculpt, you know, they kind of sort of go out to the front like that. You can put them down to the sides, but just the armatures make her arms very, very stiff. And so she doesn't feel as cuddly as my other babies do. And so I'm thinking that I'm going to reweight her. I'm, a, I'm going to get her a, a, you know, a, a better body, you know, and then, um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to remove the armatures. I just, I just don't like them. And, and again, you know, for, for me to feel really bonded to a baby, um, they have to feel really nice in my arms. And um, she's just very stiff to hold. Um, I mean, I can kind of hold her close, but I think she'd be a lot more cuddly without the armatures and with some better weighting and a, and a better body. So um, that's going to be a project that I'm going to work on. I'm going to try to, you know, give her a little bit of surgery along with baby May. Okay. So um, anyway, I called her Zoe Nicole. So her name is, is baby Zoe Nicole. And uh, again, she's, she's just kind of, um, she needs a little bit of extra special attention because she is so small. Um, but yeah, she, uh, she's very, uh, she's very little. And so, but you know, she's, she's, she's got a big personality and such a little body. Okay. And uh, so, you know, she's gonna, she's gonna try to be a jack of all trades, you know, because she just, um, she, she wants to um, she wants to learn about everything she possibly can. So she's going to try a bunch of different things and, and so forth. And, and, uh, she may, she may actually, I think where she's going to land up is, is, uh, I think she's going to be a little ballerina. Yep. I think she's going to be a little ba ballerina. So that is baby Zoe Nicole. Again, she is little as sweetheart by Ping Lao. And I haven't really figured out a personality for baby May. I just, you know, I haven't really figured one out for her just yet. Um, Again, she needs her surgery, and I need to spend a little bit more time with her, and then and then maybe we'll kind of see, uh, we'll, you know, we'll kind of see about her. But yeah, so that's this that's uh, baby Zoe Nicole. This is uh, Ashton Drake baby, and she is little Peanut by Tasha Edenholm. Okay, and so she was actually this. She's the very very first baby I got of this caliber. Uh, she was my very first baby I messed with. <coughs> excuse me, you know, aside from my Cabbage Patch Kids, but, you know, she was, she was here before any of my Reborns were. She was the very first baby I got that I showed on my channel. Um, so I named her Ellie Marie, and um, sometimes I will call her Ellie Pooh. So this is little Ellie Pooh, um, little Ellie Marie. 
And again, she needs a little bit more surgery. Well, she needs surgery, okay? Um, again, the armatures have to go. She's got the armatures. I don't care for the armatures, so they gotta go. And I'll, I'll try to move her arm and, and you guys try to listen. Can you guys hear that squeak? You know, it just, it's so unbecoming to move a baby's arm and hear that squeak. You know, babies aren't supposed to squeak, right, Ellie? No, babies aren't supposed to squeak, are they? <laughs> so yeah, uh, the armatures have to go. So I'm gonna, um, she's gonna be another one I'm gonna take apart and give, um, and give a better body with some better weighting materials. And you know when I got her, I mean, she was the cat's meow, you know, because I'd never had a reborn, and, um, but she was the cat's meow. I thought she was just weighted very nicely, and, uh, and I loved holding her, you know. But then I got my reborns, and it's like, oh, Miss Ellie Poo, you need a little bit of surgery, because, um, you know, compared to my reborns, she's very stiff. Her head really doesn't want to turn. It's very, very stiff, so, you know, her head, her, uh, she needs, uh, she, she needs, uh, she needs a looser you know, she, her zip ties need to be redone and so forth. So she basically needs, she basically needs more, um, better weighting and a better body. And, uh, and yeah, so, and then to where, cause her head is really stiff. It doesn't want to fall back. It kind of moves a little bit, but not much. So yeah, she needs to be redone. So that's, that's going to be some projects that I'm going to do is, is, is reweighting and, and, um, and putting better bodies on the, Ashton Drake babies and the Paradise Galleries babies. So Ellie here, um, I think she's going to be my tomboy, okay? Because she's kind of uh, she's kind of chunky, you know. She's a bit chunky, um, but I think she's going to be a. I think she could be my tomboy. She's uh, she might grow up to be a tennis player. I think she might grow up to be a little tennis player. What do you guys think? So that is everybody. That is everybody. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the babies. And we're going to give Willow just a little bit of extra attention because she hasn't had her own changing video yet. And yeah, so we need to get her out of her original outfit. Not that it isn't cute because it is very cute, but, you know, she needs to be featured too. Yeah, so, but um, anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed seeing the babies. And uh, if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment and tell me what you think. And thank you so much for joining me for the, pre, uh, the premiere. Those of you that were able to come uh, when it was uh, um, actually being premiered. Uh, thank you for joining me. And for those of you that are watching later on, um, I do hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, um, leave us a comment and tell me what you think. Hit that like button, of course. And if you have not done so already, subscribe to the channel. And hit that notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded. And uh, give all your babies a big hug from all of us at Serenade Nursery. You guys stay safe and healthy, and we'll talk to you in the next video. All right? Bye, everybody. Willow's going to wave bye. Bye. <laughs> all right. Bye, everybody.